It's my favorite day of the week, Wine Wednesday. I'm joined in studio with my favorite person, Kathy Marston, and today we're going to introduce you to a wine with a very interesting cap. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, very good. I'm quite excited about this. It's a whole new thing for South Africa. I don't think anyone else is doing this. No. So I brought it in for you to have a look at. I actually heard about this earlier this year. It's called mm, the Helix. That's right, yeah. And it's made by um, a Portuguese company called Amarim. And the idea is that they wanted to make, um, you know often when you get a cork out of a bottle of wine and then you struggle to get it back in if you don't manage to drink the whole thing. Or do you always drink the whole thing? I always drink the whole I thing. I always drink the whole thing as well. So but I know that there I are some experience. people. <laughs> that no, but there are some people who struggle to drink the whole bottle of wine and then they need to put the cork back in and then it doesn't fit and it's really annoying. So they've come up with this thing and it's a screw cork, I think is the best way that to describe it. That sounds interesting. Shall we have a look? Yeah, okay. well this is on the Crone Chardonnay Pinot Noir. That's right, yeah. So it actually looks like it's going to be a bubbly. It does. Um, and you would expect it from Crone as well because they do a lot of bubblies, mm. but it's not. So we, you open this bit here. And then that's it. So and then it you looks just like a cork. It does, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And it looks like almost like a champagne cork, but not quite as big. But it's got grooves in it. So the idea is that you literally just turn it like that, and then out it comes. Can I see? Yeah. And if you, I don't know if they can um, catch on this, but you can see that there are little can. grooves actually there. Let me just hold it up to there. this camera here, and they should be able to little zoom in and on check it. it out. Here it is. So that's very cool. Those are the grooves, yeah. and then the grooves are in the bottle. And then there's there. grooves in the bottle too. Can I just so put it in? Yeah, you just put. You have to sort of twist it back in. Um, that's very easy. Go. Yeah, and I have to say, when I first saw this being launched, I put it through the mill. I was sort of shaking it upside down and everything. Well, just to see if any wine comes out, because you know I like to test these things fully, <laughs> and it doesn't. So it's a really good seal. So I think this is actually quite fun. So now we've got to open. Should we try some wine? Let's open it and try some it, wine. Yeah. We're so amazed so, by the cap yeah, that I we think forgot it's to really the wine. Fun. So and and that's and, and they're, they're selling it. It's the first one I think in South Africa, and they've got it with little neck tags and everything mm. to let people know how it works and what to do with it. Because it's like anything new, you know. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to. Yeah. But um, ugh, you know, it's it's something different. It's something good to play something around with. New. So, and it's a very very good wine to actually try this with as well because. Who doesn't like Chardonnay Pinot Noir blends? They're so popular these days. Everyone is loving them. Um, you know, I think Hope Cabrier were the first people to do it, and, and lots of people thought that's a great idea, and they're doing one too. Why is everyone um, loving this? I think because it just makes a really nice, easy drinking summer mm. wine. You know, it's not too high in alcohol. Um, if you're not going to be too purist about this, and why should you? You can put a block of ice in, and it's not going to cry too hard. Um, you know, it's just a really lovely everyday drinking wine. All right. And I think that's what we're going to have here. So let's have a taste. Ooh. Yeah. I think that tastes lovely. It does taste lovely. Mm. Talk us through the flavors Very we're experiencing. Nice. Um, I think that we've got a whole sort of like, it's kind of like a fruit salad, I think is the best That's way the to do it. That's the perfect way so, to put it. Yeah, it's all like sort of apples and, and pears and then some peaches and, and a little bit of orange peel in there as well. Almost a little bit of sort of toffee hints in there mm. too, which is quite unusual. I wasn't expecting those. Um, and although it is dry, it, it's so fruity, it doesn't taste absolutely bone dry, which means it's going to be an interesting wine to put with some food. Mm. Well, we've actually paired this with a chicken and prawn curry. Mm. Now, why did we choose to put those together? Because tasting this, talking about those very summery, fruit salad mm. flavors, I wouldn't automatically think curry. No, I know, but you know, sometimes the curry is a good thing. Mm. And it's particularly quite nice in summer as well, you know, you can sort of get a little bit sort of hot and sweaty and then dive in the pool and, and uh, you Sounds know, nice. if you're lucky. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and, uh, and, and cool off with it. Um, but you know, if you don't want to actually go a full on curry, then you can use sort of like a curried mayonnaise for maybe like a sasati mm. on the dry or something like that. Um, but this amount of fruit, this, this lovely sort of, um, almost like fruit explosion in your mouth. It's really gonna go very, very well, I think, with, with anything that has a little bit of heat. Kathy, thank you for coming in. It's always a pleasure. Let's cheers to Wine Wednesday. Cheers to twisting off caps. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. That's a very cool cap.